Okay, Eileen, I'm coming. I hope your back is as red as I remember it. <laughs> Master of timing. <laughs> Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippotesta. Welcome to episode 3, I think. I think, yeah. It's episode 3 of Resident Evil on the GameCube. The way God intended it to be played. Yeah, I'm gonna say, yeah, we had an extra save there. Unnecessary save there, Lupka. <laughs> in, uh, in episode 2. So, yeah, here we are. Hello, everyone. Hi, Teste. Hello, <laughs> I thought you left us <laughs> to play with your new computer. <laughs> you forgot about your friends. <laughs> How are you doing, Teste? Hello, everyone. Lupka, Gamut, Zombie, Zdravo, Familio, Rodbino, Stričevi, Strine. Nemam ja to. Imam oca, majku, četiri sestre, šestne sestrića. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I know you would never. Testing. What was I doing? I was trying, yeah, the, the flame grenades on hunters. Well, it's not bad. I, I know that much. It was okay. We still got seven of these. So I left the assault shotgun because because I'm a cheapskate. So I was hoping to pile up on some uh, shotgun shells since I did mess up at the start. We don't need to burn any bodies for now. So that's good. I think... I think I'm ready. You know what? Fuck! I just had a save. I can play this 50 times until I do it satisfactorily. We're not gonna do that. I, I hope. <laughs> but if we have to, we have the option. Now we gotta make him run. Come here, boy. Oh, I, I do need sound. You know, that would help greatly if I could hear him running for my head. There we go. Sir? Come on. I can do it. There we go. As long as I keep my cool, I should be good. Okay, that one was extra, but I had to make sure he's dead. Yes, the yes, the three luchta, three grand nephews. That's right. Hello, <laughs> zdravo, 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 slestro na isleđa, na istarija, zdravo unučići, sestrići. <laughs> Čekaj, svo troje su tu, stvarno? I i makije tu? Ili samo ga, ili ga samo listaš zato što ga imam? <laughs> oh boy, that's never like I've I've done that hundreds of times, but it's it never stops being scary. Was there another one? No, there wasn't. Huh, interesting. What about there at the end? Is he gonna be there and be like, surprise, cockface? Znači, tu su Nina i Gagi. Zdravo Nina, zdravo Gagi. Samo da se uvijek prišao nja ovdje, možda ga nešto čeka. Su priznenađenje. Nema, ok. Znenađenje. Alright, so that takes care of part one. I gotta remember how this goes, so I know I'll go to the gallery, which is this big room, unexplored, to the east. And then after that, I guess I'll end up in the basement after that, so we're... Bring the shotgun for a while, there shouldn't be any more hunters for a while. Down the steps. Man, it's so smooth. I still... So I... So I, <laughs> I was... Editing a video, thanks Dr. Best for reminding me. Um, the one where I found that brand new angle, for me at least brand new, you know. Now I'll bring the salt shotgun. No, do not mix grandmas and frogs, that is forbidden. We never mix grandmas and frogs. Okay. Yeah, there's not gonna be anything there that's gonna try to kill me, I'm pretty sure, so... For now... I'm gonna go like a real police officer with a pistol. Samo da, samo nina i gagi su. Za sada. Okay. How about we keep the house? Can we do that? Can we finish the game but keep the house? It's like... I know, we should destroy it, but still. 
We should destroy it. Kill it with fire. Oh, look, there's fire there. Good start. That's the second use of the helmet key. So that means one more. Where is she? I hit her. I hit her away from you. You'll never find her. <laughs> nah, she's, she's working. She's nearby working. Alright. A picture of a mother and a child. Upon closer examination, the left hand side looks like someone's face. Oh, wait, really? What? What left hand side? Like the thing? Like the, the smoke behind her? Huh. Whose face? Now this looks like the Code Veronica room, doesn't it? Kinda looks like this is where they got the inspiration for that room. <laughs> She's working still. She's nearby. But her mind's in engrossed in work. I think I can keep pushing as this is coming to me, right? Yeah, I think I can. First time I saw this. Man, I thought this is it. It's the last time you'll ever play a Resident Evil game. <laughs> well, perspective's not helping. She's not commenting on the Listen to that. Oh, there's like dust falling under the light bulb. That's adorable. Such good effects. It keeps trying to crush it. Like, what is doing this? Electromotors? Magnets? There's one like that. Okay. What is it doing? Like steam engine? No, I doubt it. More like hydraulics? If it was hy hydraulics, it would crush it. Okay, I gotta be quick. Charge! You know, I should have used the right stick. Much easier to turn. Wait for it to open all the way, I think. Right? No, I shouldn't have waited. <laughs> I shouldn't have waited. It was dumb. I did die here once. <laughs> Uh, I was like, what happens if it crushes me on the other side? It still crushes me. Yeah, I think it's hydraulics. Look at it up there. Charge! Sasha, you have been summoned! By the Treaty of the Twitchers. Ah, oh, no, I messed up. God damn it, fucking depth perception. Ah, oh, okay, never mind. I'll be back. Take three. Um, this was always annoying me. It's... It's not a puzzle as much as it is like testing your reflexes in a in a game like this. Kind of backwards. There she is. By popular demand, I give you Sasha. She doesn't have a team music yet. We're working with the composer. You can do it, Jill. You can still do it. Come on. No, you run around it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. God damn it. I gotta be quicker with these sticks. Okay, take four. Okay, Jill, are we gonna do this or are we gonna spend the episode here? Here we go. A charge! Yeah. Whose idea was this? Like, what was wrong with the old snake gallery? And then... Quickly, you gotta push it. You gotta be faster than that. Oh man. Okay, take seven. No, it's not seven. Take five. Let's see how many takes we need to push this thing in. A charge! Come on, you can do it. Just fucking push it in. One. She's so slow. Two, three, and then instantly you gotta go for this one. But it's really hard when it's coming towards you. Oh! Maybe I under push it, who knows. Maybe I should push it more. Is that it? It's gonna be like, you gotta push it once more, one more time. <laughs> uh, let's take six charge. I'm gonna push it, yeah, I'm gonna push it more. Yeah, I think I, I think I don't even, even need to push it in. That's it, I remember now. I failed at this every time and the same. Look at this, it's so, it's so stupid. We're all gonna laugh at this. Mostly me, hopefully. <laughs> I know what it is. I just remembered. How many times have I done this the first time? Like, what? how do they expect me to do this? They don't. They actually don't expect you to do it the hard way. Of course I did it the hard way. 
It's my trademark. They should call me Hippie Hardway Tesla. Look at this. It's so silly, it's... There you go. That's all I needed to do. Every time. Yeah, every fucking time I do that. <laughs> I'm like, why isn't it working? But yeah. That's why. Ah, yes, the dagger. Dagger trigger. Alright, it's clean, 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 clean. And there's still a hole in the wall, in the floor. There's a hole at your feet. You can't see very far into it, though. Go down. Get down. <gasps> nah, I'll be fine without the bazooka. Use a few shells. It's good for you. Hello there. Inconspicuous space between floors that shouldn't exist because there's a room right beneath that floor. I, th I think. Let's check. Will you take the last book, Volume 1? Eagle of South, Wolf of... No Look, you can't do that. It was Eagle of East, Wolf of West. E-W. Like, how the fuck did it become South and North? There we go. Resident Evil 1 remake failed. Let's make a new one. The words on the cover. What can it mean? It's gibberish. It should be Eagle of East, Wolf of West. Everybody knows that. It was in the first two RE games. A medal was hidden inside the book. Medal of Eagle, found inside the last book, Volume 1. Is there a special way to use it? Oh, you'd know nothing yet, Jill. They didn't engrave it so you can read what's on it. Just supposed to be a puzzle. Ah, here we go. This is what was missing in the original RE1. G. Trevor's Diary. How did I end up like this? November 29, 1967. I can't get out. I have tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde and those dark, wet and eerie caves. What can I do? At first, I didn't want to believe my eyes. But that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor? It was like reflex. One name came to my mind. Jessica. I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. November 30th, 1967. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I'm flipping pages automatically. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. November 31st, 1967. It was a dark and damp underground tunnel, and another dead end, but even in the darkness something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match I had to see what I had to see what it was. A grave, but deeply engraved into the stone was my name, George Trevor. At that instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I died here and I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. George Trevor. Was that his last entry, I think? Not sure. <laughs> the guy who designed them, please. The guy who designed them was like, Oh, what do I do here? There's two emblems. I put one, it doesn't work. Well, I just throw the other one away. <laughs> I know. <laughs> A name is carved into the small gravestone. George Trevor. I just read about that. How is that possible? <laughs> There's a switch. Press it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. All right. It opens. Well, well, that's a handy grave. Let's visit old George downstairs. <laughs> uh, a very bad architect. Oh, shit. I forgot about these. Oh, God. You know what? Nah, I know there are items here. Blast. And then... You know what? 
There's gonna be a blue orb. I know, I can do this. I've done worse. There you go. Oh, never mind. I'll be back. Should I surprise it? I think it heard the shots. Maybe I have an element of surprise. Let's see if we can jump a spider. I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Like go up the ladder. Like ah, screw it. I'm just a spider. How am I gonna scale a ladder? Oh, never mind. I'll just start looking. Stop looking for him altogether. Sneakety sneak, chill. Hello, any giant spiders of that? Oh wow, it's like right there. You know what? Let's do a, a rem let's do a distance. Oh wow, that kind of worked. Wow, what? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I love I love how this game is playing tricks on me. Like here's two shotgun shells and two bullets or just five bullets. Like which which do I like more? I don't know, game, which which one do I like more? <laughs> uh, if there's another spider, I'm not afraid of you. Inside the cardboard box lies the discarded shell of a molting spider. Hider. Oh, who would have thought that? No, it's right there. That's a good, cool detail. We got the B1 map. The, the whole two corridors that were left unexplored. I don't know why they did it like this. <gasps> there we go. I knew. I said I'm not gonna be afraid of you. Ow! I said I'm not. You're not gonna. You're not gonna scare me with your poison spits. You're. You can't kill me. I have plot armor. Oh shit, I'm actually... I would die very easily. Damn. Who would think that the giant mutated spider can be so deadly? Jeez. Nobody mentioned that in the manual. Ah, That one got me for all... For the other two, just easily. I, you know what? I knew there was another one, but I was like, nah. It can't get me. I'm so good at this. Now I gotta find the blue herb. Better whole ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two spiders, no damage. Third spider, like, avenge his fallen comrades. It's zombies here, I think. Yeah, there it is. There, take it, Jill. What, what? Don't do that to me. Oh, good. There you go. Beheaded. Man, I'm lucky with these crits. Oh, sir, I'm just picking up a knife. I don't want any trouble. I'm just gonna walk away and shoot you in the face from distance. Deal? Deal. Hello, sir. I see your tricks there. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> you wouldn't let me die, game, would you? Wait, let's go back. That unexplored room is bugging me before this guy decides to come back to life and ask me a few questions with his teeth. I know there's an item that always bugs me. I think in one of these boxes, something, or at the end over there. Is it here? Is it here? Is it maybe here? No, that's not. It's not there. Definitely. Oh, where could it be? God, it's every time. Every time this place, it's somewhere here. It's something dumb, like next to the box. Ammo? Is it? Is it a clip that's hard to see? What about this shelf? Come on. He's gonna wake up. We gotta find the item, Jill. It's somewhere there, Jill. Come on, Jill. You can do it, Jill. Yeah, it's there. Nope. I thought she was gonna pick something up from the floor. You can do it, Jill. You're still young. You haven't... You haven't faced off against your worst nightmare, but... Uh, you're doing... Ah, there it is. Even better. <laughs> Thank you, game. Six of them. Just six, huh? Good enough for me. Bye.
Better get out of there before Mr. Pissy comes back. Not bad, not bad. Next time, I'll just remember there's three spiders down there. Oh gee, like every time I think he's gonna bite my leg. Where's the exit? Yeah, okay. That's what I wanna know. It's not there. There's the power. Will I get zapped? Like, that's what you think? Looks like the power supply for the elevator. The main fuse has blown out. Switch over. The power supply appears to be functioning again. And I'm standing in, like, ankle-deep water while doing this. Very, very smart decision. I think that there's a clip here somewhere. There are a number of small objects on the shelf. Looking closer, you notice the seal of Raccoon City on a broken dish. Aha! Uh -huh. More clues! Is it this one that's always bugging me? Come on. Come on, show yourself, item. Is it like... Nope, still, still, still red. Supply is already connected. I guess I'll just run through the water until I find it. Is it... Oh, there it is. It's a clip. Is it? Nope, it looks like a clip, but it's not. Sir, do you have an item? Are you sleeping on an item? Because that would be impolite. I'm... It's killing me over here. Come on. Oh boy, he's gonna wake up anytime now. Do they even do that if you're still in the room? Like when enough time passes, they're like, Hi! <laughs> Hello there. I've never seen that, but I wouldn't be surprised. Ah, there we go. I knew it's a clip. That's the one that bugs me. It's always in the garbage. And there's a zombie there that we left here earlier. Better be smart about it. I, he's probably going to be straight ahead of me. So I'll, I'll try to bait him around the... Oh, there it is. Either on this side or at the door. What? Two bullets, sir. Do not embarrass yourself, please. How about I just leave him? Nope. Too late for that. I could just leave him. I don't need to deal with you. But if he spawns there, that could be problematic later. What if you remember his position game, huh? How about that? Would that be good? I would really like that. Bye. I mean, if he's right there, I'll just blow his head off with a shotgun and we should be good. Yeah, I'm gonna end up... Where's the elevator? Upstairs. Should be on the western... Yeah, it's in the western side. There it is. Going all the way to the library. Yeah. Use the elevator. Oh! That's a pretty neat detail. That's also scary if you left a zombie behind you. If you were closer, that would be a really fun clip. There shouldn't be hunters here, I think. But you know, I could be totally wrong. Hello there. There you go. That helps a lot, thank you. Makes my life easier. The knob is broken, it doesn't look like it'll open. Moo. <laughs> There's an Asian style hanging scroll on the wall, but the picture on it is Western style. Oh, I like this little camera angle. Look at that moth on the window. Better be on the lookout for Mr. Bite Your Face Off. Should I risk it? You know what? Fuck it! I have a pistol! Why would I use the shotgun on a zombie that's so far away? Oh. Man, that's disappointing. Sir. Well, now you're begging. You're, you're begging me to set you on fire. We're gonna go back to uh, Crimson Head territory. 
where we've been before, but we couldn't get from the other side. No comment on that one. Who is who's lighting the lamps two months after the outbreak, huh? Who's going around the house and be like, you know what? This lamp looks like it could use a... Oh, there's more? Oh, look, I never noticed that naked lady relief there on the wall. I almost pushed the... Oh, there's two of them. Huh. Things you can see with a bigger TV. I keep trying to push forward to point on the right stick like an outbreak, but <laughs> in this game it's just... Quick turn. Was it here? Yeah, it was here. That'll open the shortcut. Hello, scary door. You and your acid rounds. That's gonna be awesome. I heard that they're good for living things. Do, does she mark any more items? He can't carry any more. What is this? Like the raven? Edgar Allan Poe's Raven <laughs> narrating the game. <laughs> you cannot carry ever more items. <laughs> oh my god, the, the the spelling errors in this game just entertain me. There's still an item left. What did I... I must have left health or something. It's here, huh? A damaged statue of a goddess. That didn't make it to Raccoon Police Station? Ah, because there's another red. I totally... that I didn't see that because of the other body. Huh. Well, another time. Oh boy, now I gotta go through Hunter territory. It would be really good to have... And Crimson Heads. To have a shotgun handy. I do have three knives and two of these. Yeah, it'll be fine. Nine of them. So once I go out, I want to immediately... Huh, I want to immediately go... Left. Yeah, actually I can go straight to the left door and then again... Uh, if I'm lucky, there shouldn't be a hunter there. Can remember. To avoid everyone who's scary here. Hi. Bye. Now, there will be a hunter here. I just gotta remember if it's on my right or left. Oh. Now, there will be multiple hunters here, I think. <laughs> Doesn't matter where they are. We gotta, we gotta kill them. What? Really? Nothing? Well, that makes my job easier. They're gonna be downstairs then. Maybe sneak. Sing like a bee, dance like a butterfly. There's more? Okay. Let's check what's in the room. If there's uh, something I can stack right away. The pistol served me well. Thank you, Beretta. Or Was that a... Yeah, they did say it's a samurai edge. Mail, to the chi mail from the chief of security. Haha, <laughs> that's someone we know. Chief of Security, priority procedures from Umbrella Headquarters. Head... Qu quarters? Head quarters? <laughs> I've never noticed that. My God. We should make a... We should make like a condensed episode of all the spelling errors in this game. I think it wins. It definitely wins. Of all the Resident Evils, this one wins with... <laughs> they just didn't pay the proofreader. Like, we did it once. We're not gonna do it again for the remake. <laughs> so I guess... From Umbla Umbrella Headquarters? Headquarters? <laughs> Confidential. Attention, Chief of Security. Date, July 22nd, 1998. 2.13am. Wait. 22nd? <gasps> is that... This is July... 24th, right? I forgot. I think it's July 24th or 23rd, so... It's near. Or... Or is it 22nd? I forgot. X day is drawing upon us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. So yeah, this is before. One, lure stars, stars, to the estate and obtain B.O.W.'s raw combat data against stars. Two, collect two embryos of each mutated specimens as example, as samples, excluding the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. Fuck the tyrant. 
he wasn't good, he doesn't get any desserts. 3. Ensure complete disposal of the Arclay laboratory including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. That's a lot of deaths to disguise an accident, I guess blow them up. <laughs> when the above procedures are executed, report to headquarters, I'm sorry, headquarters <laughs> for further instructions. If for some reason you are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691 to get sexy whiskey. <laughs> Good luck. Umbrella Headquarters, Headquarters, Umbrella Incorporated. Well, gee, I thought Umbrella Headquarters is gonna be like in, I don't know, Procter & Gamble Incorporated. Jeez. <laughs> the info. Yes, thank you. Blech. Oh, that's pretty cool. More, more of them. I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh, yes. I will have to go through the crimson head hallway. But I can be smart about it. Hmm, I wonder if they can, like, walk away with my head. Like they could in the, in the original. hear it oh really oh I know why I don't hear anything that's right that's right it's the remake jeez when you have PTSD oh I forgot to make myself a drink before the show I was smart not to Destroy that Robinson window. Huh? Huh? And huh? Yeah. I did not uh, get the window broken back there, and I th I'm not sure if they would. I can't remember. I think it's the hunters that break it, and then they populate this room. So we can avoid that altogether if I'm smart. <laughs> January events, Kate. <laughs> uh, I think that's it for the zombie. You know what? That guy will probably get up, but let's let's try to get ahead of him. I do need me a bazooka and more shells. Helmet key. Eh, possibly. Medal of Eagle. Metal that really it's really grinding my ears, Medal of Eagle. How the fuck is the square can? How the fuck? What did they do? So, self defense is gonna blow. Yeah. So, somehow, these two ended up there when they should be here. Maybe the flamethrower goes here? Who knows? It's been a while. There you go. That's more like it. And then, and then burn some bodies. Some sexy bodies. I did see acid rounds there, so we're gonna do this. Work smart. Work as smart. Uh, that doesn't work in this contest, but I tried. I want it to be noted, I did try. Bazooka, uh, explosive, uh, incendiary, and then acid. There you go. We're gonna mix the herb. I don't need the key for now. For now. There you go. No more sneaking around. I am the master of this house. Until something scary comes along. Can I? Nah, it's too far to go that way. I can still do it. Yeah, I gotta go try to burn that guy. I'm pretty sure he's back. He's back. He's gonna get, get a bazooka in his face, but... If not... Wait! Oh, you can stack him like in later games. I forgot that. Okay, that's pretty good to know. That means... That I need once one space left for the one space less for the grenades. Oh, there he is. Wait, I hear him. I'm I'm <laughs> too much of a pussy to peek. <laughs> to peek. <laughs> Poke my head in there and just like 
leave it to them. <laughs> this is serious, everyone. Get serious, okay? Oh, wait. Señor Decapitado, ¿cómo estás? ¿Dónde estás? Is the first question. ¿Cómo estás? Is like, if you don't answer, I'm going to assume I can burn you. Oh boy, is he? Oh. I guess we'll have to use the bazooka. Oh, he didn't. Well, thank you, sir. Very nice of you. I needed a bonfire. I don't know how the rug didn't catch fire, but I guess I'm a pretty good incinerator. Put the grenades down. Come on. <laughs> I guess that's getting it. That's becoming the trademark of this channel. Arnolding. Full on Arnolding. All right. Huh, me one, Crimson Head zero. For now. I've probably forgotten one of them somewhere. It's gonna come back to bite me in the face later. Or ass. They don't pick, they just wanna bite. It's a very nice storage room. Deer trophy. Oh, really? Shelf is full of dust covered props and deer trophy. Deer trophy. <laughs> uh, don't kill me. <laughs> that's what. That's the only thing I hear when I hear the word deer in any context nowadays. All I hear is Dear George. You gotta give him props for like every door being unique. It's not easy to make. Here we go. I'm popping my head. Just to run like a girl. Like a girl. Oh my god. He's right there. Look how close he was. I'm running away like girly man. Here we go. Away from the hunter. I'll just leave him. He looks like he's enjoying that room over there. Who am I to, you know, interrupt that? But there's... She doesn't say a howling, howling of an animal can be heard on and off. So it doesn't count, whatever she says from this point. I can stack those grenades and then come back for some more. Yeah, I'm gonna stack them. I'm gonna stack them good. It's statue, move it? What statue? Yes. Huh, what, what statue are you talking about? The, the broken one in the corridor? In the scary corridor or... Uh... Oh, <laughs> uh, imagine, imagine if you tricked me like that. <laughs> I would find you and I would push you like that statue. <laughs> uh... Yeah, don't, don't be afraid to move it. Why is it making clicking noises? Oh, it's a new, like it's a, it's a George Trevor Industries walking talking statue so it's gonna be bazooka yeah I can, I can you can pack all 13 inside right man that's like a cheat i love it thank you capcom for not you know making this harder than it needed to be which means we need one less one space less it's time to get ocd no no ah! So everything one spot up, huh? Not that it matters. Nobody ever will know if I do it wrong. <laughs> there is no right or wrong way. It's just how you want it done. Okay, battery. Do we check that? Battery. With this, you can operate the elevator. Well, gee, can you tell me a bit more? It looks, at least it looks like a real battery. Still, it makes no fucking sense how it moves an elevator, but let's work with it. Let's say it has an, you know, alternator and a transformator and it makes a transformer, actually. But yeah, <laughs> and it makes a more electricity. I will need the helmet key, though. Do. I think that's the last use for it. Is it? Let's check the first floor. No, that's not the first floor. 
Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a whole room there that I didn't check. And that big bad hunter is gonna be in my way, so... I think it's best I kill that one guy. Before visiting Miss Yon. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring my Beretta. And my... Incendiary shells. Nah, just use the explosive ones on him. Yeah, I want to go there first, before I go to Yon. I want to clean everything up, then deal with the snake. Snake! That's it's good enough. Should I be... You know, let's be brave. Just don't bring any help. You'll need it later. But what I need now is space. Hmm, do I even need the shotgun? No, I don't need the shotgun. You know what? I've lived without the shotgun my whole life. Look at me. I'm a big boy. We, we done? Yeah? No. You go here. You go here. You go there. You? You know what? Why am I even gonna use you yet? There we go. Four slots. This should be enough for whatever's coming my way. Brrrp. Yeah. bazooka time call me bazooka jane you gotta have hey you love your quote don't you <laughs> let's hope something doesn't surprise me shit i did forget i'm sorry senpai i was like it's too early let's give him another 10 minutes and uh and then i got, then i got lost in setting up sorry buddy <laughs> i'm so sorry it, damn Wow, a whole hour. Yeah, they're usually a whole hour later, so. You think this is gonna work? You know what? Let's try it. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, nobody said anything about two hunt. <laughs> okay, nope. I'll change my strategy. I did not like how that went. <laughs> so... Ugh, the, the, the shitty thing is there's two of them. You gotta be brave. Come on, we gotta do this. You gotta do it fast before they even notice you. Yeah, like that. No, wrong hunter. Ah! Oh, why did I have to do it the hard way? Wow, that did hurt. Me too. You think he's coming? Okay. Alright, sir, I'll be back before you can see me. <laughs> that works, that works. I'm good with that. They, they always have surprises, jeez. If he's back there, I swear to God. Just one, huh? A charge! Hey, I'm faster than you. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Saucer stuff? Good saucer stuff? You making food? Is that food? Did you say food? If you didn't say food, please say food. <laughs> they bring the key. But this was all for nothing if I didn't bring the key. You know, being like reptiles and all, it would make sense they don't like uh, electricity. Food, yeah, I thought, I think John said food, I'm not sure. He'll tell us. What you cooking, John? There's something, oh, George G. Trevor's diary. How did I end up like this? So it's the third one. There's something handwritten, it's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while, because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting. Not even Sir Spencer. And hopefully they can't fucking read, because you left them a clue. Dumbass. <laughs> painting of a mansion. 
in the back of the art room. Like, no one would do this. No one ever would <laughs> write about their only hiding, sp <laughs> hiding spot in a diary. And just, I'm imagining he didn't leave it here like a dum-dum, but <laughs> wherever he left it. Why would you write that? I guess as evidence, if a police ever comes, but that's not how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's some kind of internal organ inside. You can't tell whether it came from a human or an animal. Well, because you're not a doctor, Jill. Well, I expected more resistance. Nothing in the drawer. Is it still red? Oh, just one pack of ink ribbon. Not, not even ammo. Still got... Yeah, I'm good. I got a bazooka to protect me. This kind of looks like it came from Eternal Darkness and not Resident Evil, this room. An elaborately fashioned globe. I like the description of the original, like abstract, abstract art or something like that. Thank you, Lyubka. Thank you. Could this be a telescope? It looks to be pretty old. Hey, is this connected to RE0? Is it like spare parts for the observatory? Ah, it just hit me. Never thought about it like that. What about the files, though? No. Nope. Work with me. Okay, we got both mansion files, courtyard, residence. We're still missing one. Ah, yeah. I think I know where we'll find it. Yeah. Don't run towards him. It's the RE4 zombie. Oh no! Damn, he felt. Chief, please. Reload. Yes. So if I ever get poisoned and I don't know what to do, I come here. Is he still alive? Dude. Have you been on steroids? I think he's done now. When they say... Eah! I think so. Because remember, RE0 was originally an N64 game. And they quickly just ported everything. And Well, they didn't even port it. They just ported the concepts. They rebuilt the game. So I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing there was some overlap in the team's gamut. Uh, but I doubt bo they would finish both games at the same time. Obviously, same engine, same design philosophy all that so there must have been some overlap jewelry box they did i'm sure they talked about it was it was it even six months yeah yeah okay i'm sure they talked about it during lunch breaks hey we're doing this you you want to use that in your game jewelry box there's a round recession approximately four centimeters yeah we're missing a thing here that's right but i got it what's what that's important and it's gone. Blue herbs. Don't need to use them. Is this like... Because like originally it made sense. Here was the closet. But in this game. See the closet is straight ahead of me. And it's access through the gallery. Now I've never been a costume guy. So I have never tried this. First time I tried. I, I, I will try this. Will be in the stream. Expect the... A hunter going ape shit on me, no? Okay, good. At least the main hall is safe until you open the door. Like a dum-dum. <laughs> like some people here. I wonder if there's gonna be a cutscene where I have no bullets to defend myself for whatever crawls out of that door. Yeah, that wasn't me. There was some other guy. <laughs> right, I gotta be really... Hey, what about here? Is there anything... Like, are there hunters here? Well, there's only one way to find out. I never, because that would be pretty cool, then going all the way around them. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Oh, gee. No, good thing he didn't see me. Because it, it makes sense they would be here, right? They can easily scale that uh, balcony and just... Lion weight. 
Why are they looking in one direction? Just like, like plastic dolls? I don't know. <laughs> Important thing is, they're not in my way. You know what would be funny? If they swap sides right now. I wonder if I could kill him from here. You know what? Don't push your luck. You've done enough. It was it was really good. Let's keep it good. Zdravo Delmar Prietelio. Hello and welcome. What are you up to, buddy? Ah yes, we'll need the the gems. Alright, let's do this puzzle. I did pick up everything I could pick up. Yeah, it's two of them. That's right. One of them is for the box. Nice. First thing, first time I did this in order I would like. Creepy. Very creepy. That one's red. This one should be yellow. Yep. So what I want to do is set up first. Uh, I guess push it in a bit. It's been a while. Yeah. And push it this way. And then, can I even get in there? Yeah, I can. The depth perception is horrible. But here we are. Nice. Okay, that's number one. Number two. Then I want to turn the lights off, so she knows what to take. That's right. And then quickly climb. Before it turns. A jewel sits in the eye. It looks like you could take it out. Yellow gemstone. That moved it a little, but I think we'll be okay. Alright. The red gemstone. Alright. So can I get down there without triggering those assholes? I think I can. Should be able to do it. Minimize the damage. Yellow gemstone. It's beautifully cut and polished to a mirror-like surface. Alright. Same thing, right? No, no special descriptions. Alright. What I do want is... Which one went in this? Red or yellow? She said blue and yellow eye, so red one goes in this. There you go. Ah, yes. One of the cooler puzzles in this version. Fine adjust. There you go. We'll do whatever seems most logical right away. You can rotate them, though. Do I want to? Oh yeah, that could fit there, that's right. So this should fit here, neatly, yeah. And then, you there. Like so. Quite. There you go, uh, good enough. And finally, there you go, aha. There was a brooch inside. Brooch. Oh my, it changed into a key. Who would have thought in this house? The key is designed with an emblem of the Spencer family, whose history is as old as Raccoon City. It's actually much, much older. Because they come from, like, a very old European aristocratic family. Goodbye, room. I loved you. Oh yeah, come. I should be alone, still. Wait. Never let go the, of the controller in RE1, a remake, unless you absolutely know what you're doing. Because it can get pretty tricky dicky. So I don't want to trigger those zombies downstairs. I mean, uh, hunters. I want to go get to that little red room. Red room. If I want to do that, the best way is to go all the way around. Upstairs, then downstairs. Yeah. Should I do it now? do it now oh wait there's there's a few hunters there i forgot can can yawn can yawn 
two even poison i should be immune to the toxin but that was again that was original and now i'm not sure so let's make something here you you what what, what are you doing there no that's not how we like it it's not how we like it at all wait i do want that one and i want this one and i do want that and uh not that for now nope we're gonna leave it right next to the battery do it now you mean go now okay i will go now and do it hopefully i don't get i keep my head so then i'll bring just one of the these double ones in case something slaps me hard helmet key i'll need it afterwards so i'll come back here to save do i even nah save just like just i'm not sure what's the order is all mixed up now so better save be smart not right now but you know after i'm back with this Bring the assault shotgun and the grenade launcher. Yeah, that should be more than enough for a couple of hunters, right? Or maybe not. I think pistol is better still. Pistol is actually better to finish them off after a bazooka shot. So it's always... No, it's three, actually. After, after the explosive bazooka, it's three. But after the incendiary, it's two. So that's what I'm gonna do. Not always, because they have two possible health states, but uh, let's do it this way. I just feel like doing it this way. Yeah, there you go. Can I do it with this? Of course. What if there's more than three hunters? Nah, I'm not gonna fight every hunter. And <laughs> no, I'm I'm drinking coffee actually. <laughs> it was a tiring day, so it really helps me, you know, stay up talking to myself <laughs> for three hours oh yeah i love green tea it is same i love green tea especially with honey mm. well i love honey in anything really so look at the dust amazing i can i can hear him begging for a meal <laughs> it's a statue move it said zombie and it moves your head. It moves it off of your shoulders where you don't need it anymore. All right. All right. I just remembered what I'm going to get from the box. I did get. Yeah, I got. No, never mind. I just remember what I'll get from, you know doing everything I need to do. We're gonna go to an even deeper basement. Was this a good choice? I don't know. <laughs> Should I have saved before this? Possibly. Oh, bye. Very good for me. Now there should be one here maybe. Two, some in the behind. Oh, is there a crimson head? I have zappers, sir. Oh, gee. I did not expect this. So no hunters? Because I didn't... Huh. Oh, wow. That guy is going to get up. But we don't care about it right now. All right. Wow. I definitely expected hunters. Otherwise, I would have brought a shotgun. Really lucky with the headshots there. There's your uh, yellow eye. Get off of my back. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's the first magneto optical disc. The Mu disc. They wanted to say Mu disc, but this game is full of uh, spelling errors, so we got the Mu disc. What was that? I gotta, I gotta check that. I gotta memorize that. Was umbrella head headquarters? No, not that one. The one right beneath it. Proper priority procedure from Umbrella Head Quarters. <laughs> I mean, I see the logic of that. The Moo Disc. <laughs> I see their logic, but still.
Is there a way? Like, could I have replaced the other hunters with zombies that way? Yeah, I think there's there's a hunter or something there. Behind the behind the corner. Let's not poke out. That, that went pretty good. Like of all the things I could have used, I used only the pistol. Damn, does she run faster without the weapon or is it just the animation makes it look that way? Let's try the D-pad. Oh yeah, the Game Boy <laughs> the Game Boy D-pad on the GameCube. You gotta love this. <laughs> no thank you. <laughs> I I mean it's it's pretty good on the Game Boy, but put that on a on a grown-up controller, you get very awkward finger positioning. Oh my, she does seem to run faster. Am I crazy? Am I going crazy? There you go. So they are. Very nice to know when I'm running. It's just this year that I became so cocky that I'm... Look, yeah, she's sprinting through that. Like, fuck code Veronica. Look at her. Damn. Put Jill and Claire in a race. You get a... Very interesting event. So I'm gonna have to be sneaky around. Avoid trouble as much as possible. No disk. It appears to be a disk for rebooting a system of some sort. So it's like a boot disk, but it's a magneto optical disk. So I don't know why they always had to signify that. Nobody. They were very unpopular in the West. They were more of Japanese, Asian thing, but like very popular in Japan. Why would you like, why would you shove it in here? No, don't, don't need the mirror disc. Did it take... I was smart enough to take it out. Bravo me. <laughs> Thinking ahead. Okay, all I gotta do after this is use the emblem key. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Should I even waste acid shells on her? Yeah, why not? It's a snake. A poisonous snake. Some assault shotgun. I think they're gonna be a crimson hair or two. You know what? Let's do a real boss battle preparation. Yeah, I need that as well. That's right. Because that's how I'm gonna get to the attic. And I'm giving myself these two herbs to use. Anything over that? Well, tough shit. But I will be smart and save. I know. I know me. You're very against that, but... It was a really good run. It'd be a shame if something happened to it. Check the map. So all that's left is... Sir Spencer's room, first floor east. Yeah, I think I went ahead of myself. I shouldn't have taken the thing. We'll see, we'll see. I, no, the snake will drop something I need, that's right. But I still need the battery. Yeah. I might have fucked myself over, we'll see. Let's see. No, you get a much better angle for that. There you go. Drug room. Well, that explains everything. Why Rebecca was acting like that in the original. Can't believe there are no hunters here. Man, I've never tried this this way. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, this should take me straight to... Yeah. I might even avoid the Mr. Crimson here. Maybe not. But it shouldn't be awful. Oh, what? Oh, fuck. I, I lied. It is awful. You're aiming at the wrong guy, Joe. Oh, 
boy, that was bad. Okay, that's why we have, why we just saved. Damn, really good ambush there, sir. You got me. Wow. <laughs> did I bring the helmet key? Yeah, I did. Why would you, like, why would you aim at the passive guy <laughs> while the other one's trying to eat your face? I tried uh, tapping the left uh, trigger, but she didn't agree. Sometimes she just doesn't aim, want to aim at some enemies. Yes. Uh, I, I like, I love this the first time. First, the angle. Like, where the fuck am I? This is a whole, whole new room for me. Is it coming? Is it coming behind me? Yeah, just take the one right away. And then save the other one. Preferably don't use it. Yeah, that's right. It's a hole. Okay. Ooh. I think if I were fast enough, I would have seen it pass here, right? I remember something. The G's. Let's get down there where we have a good view of the... Oh, no shortcuts. That's cheating. That's cheating. Oh shit, if I remember correctly, I should be able to fuck her around like this. Did it hit it in the face? Whee! Come here. Come here. Ah, cheater. Am I poisoned? Oh, wow. It really bites hard. Snake, not the snake. At least it doesn't poison anymore. Just follow its tail. It's afraid of you more than you're afraid of it. Oh, my God. That's not true. Did you lose me? Oh my god, it lost me. Oh! <laughs> no, you're too big for me, Mr. Snake. I'm just a tiny gel with a bazooka. Oh no. Well, don't be rude, such a sore loser. <laughs> Man, if, if I'm playing horror games, why not have fun, huh? And I left one. One might have missed. Possibly. It sounded like it. But who cares. A false book of doom. <laughs> Eagle of South, Wolf of North. You know, that really annoys me. Every time it annoyed me. The metal was hidden. Why, why change that part? Why <laughs> Why? Why does why do, does do everything right? But then like, Eagle of East, Wolf of West was very sexy. Because, you know, they were E and W. I think that's why they chose them. Found inside the last book, volume 2. A forgery. <laughs> is there a special way to use it? Yes, there is. Stretch. More voices. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, that, that is good. Oh, hopefully very soon I'm getting an actually good microphone. So I don't have to wear this thing on my neck. Uh, when I'm not talking to anyone. Instead, the mic come, comes from here. And, you know. It'll be a, it'll be a mu much more natural for me as well. More voices, he says. Look at that letter face from Ninja Turtles. Yeah, it's all the same room. All right, bye. That was pretty cool. Just one bite. The knob is broken. It doesn't look like it. Oh, it never opens. That's right. You gotta go. Yeah, that's. I never understood why they did that. Like, did the snake bite the... the young go hungry and well, you know what? It looks like a tiny little morsel. I'll eat this uh, brass knob here. Fill up on, um, you know, precious metals I'm missing in my blood. 
It'll help me eat humans more efficiently. <laughs> Wait, if we dissect, if we dis dissect it, will we find? Are we gonna find a doorknob inside? And where's Richie, you bastard? You ate Richie. Richie's somewhere inside. Still, Resident Evil really likes long, worm-like, snake-like creatures to eat survivors. There's nothing here. I, I keep hoping there's a like a book or something, but nope. Get out. Well, that's for games like uh, like RE Outbreak, or if I'm casually playing uh, RE2 or RE1, something like that, you know, you can pick who, I, who you want me to play as. Well, so it doesn't really have effect in this one, I mean, like right now, but keep an, keep an eye on that. Or like when I'm playing, if I'm playing something like Evil Dead, you can be, you can totally be a, you can totally be a Carter and just tell me to play with someone I've never played with. <laughs> See how that goes. Yeah, it's for that. It started as, you know, an outbreak thing. Because there's 100 different characters you can play as there. And uh, you can apply it to almost anything. Oh, that was, the, that was a total decapitation. Very nice. So we have this hallway now. Not that I'll ever need it, but... If I do, it's here. Okay, so since Barry fixed that piece of shit door, as he says, I gotta find the best there. There's no good way to go back to the east side of the house now. <laughs> uh, yeah, someone did that already. The the Resident Punchy <laughs> parody did that. <laughs> Nemesis does pop up here. <laughs> oh boy, so where do I want to go? Yeah, thank you, Barry. I just gotta... I have to go through one of or the other. So I'm gonna go through the second floor because it's the, the first floor. I gotta go through a lot. Wait, I don't. I actually can go through the yard. <laughs> ha. Wait. Let's do this properly. Check the map. Don't fuck up. Yeah, I, I can totally make a shortcut here. Provided I didn't. Oh god, there he is. Okay, good, good. Wow, I've, I've been dodging that guy since since we started. Jeez. Who's gonna get there for sooner? Hunter or me? Nah, he didn't even notice me. He was just like uh, waking up there. Like, oh god, there she goes. Ah, she got me again. Next time, next time, I'll stand at this exact spot and I'll get her. I'll get her next time. Hopefully I won't yawn and fall asleep again. Yeah, that's that's where I want to go. <laughs> you win this time, Jill Valentine. I mean, ah! Or whatever hunters say. Is this safe here now? Oh, it is. Okay, nice shortcut. Yeah, sometimes they do that. Like, when I, if I try to dodge... I had a lot of those last time. When you try to dodge, uh, you do your best and they grab you. Like they do some <laughs> capoeira limbo shit and they're on you. But <laughs> other times you just run like that without paying attention and thinking there's nothing there and you just, he's like, oh, never mind. <laughs> Good deal of RNG, I guess. Yeah, RE0 was the first. That's right. I always gotta... Should I use this one on a hunter? Nah. I always gotta think twice. Was it RE0 or... Outbreak that had... Uh, that memorized enemy's position first. It was 0. It would actually memorize where they were. Okay. Last time you left the place... But in Outbreak, they would keep moving after, even after you leave a room. Because, you know, again, online game. It, they really reflected that. Which I like. But in Zero, it makes more... You know what? In single-player games, just it's okay if you remember their position. Not always. Because sometimes in Zero, I would fuck up. And a zombie would, you know, end up being in front of the door. So I can't get in there without getting slapped. And I had to think, you know, of alternate routes... Let's go to Sir Spencer's room first. I want to see what's in there. 
good i'm very glad i i'm stockpiling these how many do we have one two three four five because we're getting to the harder bits of the game i do want to you know be ready for that even this look i'm not gonna do this i'm gonna do this i didn't stockpile them for nothing so we'll see we'll save since i didn't use i forgot to use the 22 on yawn i can save it for the black tiger yeah i'm gonna save it for the black tiger because that that battle can turn ugly real fast black tiger is not to be fucked around with emblem key pistol look at that ah that's a very good efficient use of the pistol I remember when I first played Outbreak and realized monsters can follow you through the rooms, I panicked because they really... Yeah, it didn't happen. The only game it did happen was... Yeah, it, it was either Nemesis in RE3, which was already... Like, he was a boss character and we were already, like, mind-blown he can do that. But, um... You know, in RE1 Remake, there are a few spots where they will break through the doors, like that on the second floor, west, just outside the west bal balcony. But you know that's gonna happen next time you play. It's more like scripted. It's not, you, there's no, there's not much, oh, it's been repaired, thank you. Uh, there's not much, there's not no element of surprise once you learn it. It's still kind of just tiny adrenaline rush, but in Outbreak, there are no rules. Use the emblem key. Well, that looked like you could sell it on eBay for a lot of money, but okay. And, uh, yeah, I, I think that still, after all these years, my god, this room, after all these years, it still puts Outbreak, in terms of, you know, randomization, puts it above all the other games. Not even the remakes do it like that. They move, but they can't, they do follow you through the door, but it's not the same when you can see it, like, if it's pushing the door, I can see you pushing the door, I'll just move back. It's scary in Outbreak, because... Well, you hear that banging, you're trying, to, you're trying to solve a puzzle, the zombies are banging on the door, there's no one else to hold the door for you, holding the door. You know what they say, smart guy is always lucky. <laughs> Who says that? I would like to, I've never heard that. There's a switch here. I like that, <laughs> zombie, but I've never he heard anyone say that. <laughs> there we go, metal object. So we're just missing a stone object, a collection of thick tomes. There's books on everything from genetics to statecraft. I read Starcraft. Aha! Uh -huh. What, the lamp? Switch it off? Why? What's the difference? Tell me, oh master. Nice, more zappers. You know, I didn't, I never used these. I always thought like dagger stabs thing in the eye. But uh, but what what is this gonna do? You know, I've seen it in Silent Hill Three. I don't like it. When it turns out, this is really good for hunters. Yeah, do do tell me what you mean, buddy. I'll do whatever you want me to do. A collection of scientific books. Almost all of them are biology related. This room. What do you mean? Thank you, zombie. That is that is that is a very nice compliment. That. That feels good, but you play very well. Stop it. <laughs> you play you play amazing well. I've seen you play Outbreak, man. We've survived some things we shouldn't have survived. <laughs> Definitely. We've soloed scenarios when randoms like like at that end of the road, I so wish I had streamed that. No, I will need to get the stone object. That's right. I messed it up. I <laughs> that end of the road when that <laughs> random took the sprays. And the uh, remote detonator and just went into with chopper. I think that's when we that's that that was one of the best games we had. We had no chance, but we gave it our all. N no, there was no moment where we we're like, you know what? Let's give up. It's not working. Let's just give up. We we didn't do that. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna save this spot for you. I know you want it. There's probably gonna be a hunterino outside. But none of them in the courtyard, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> you remember that game, right? <laughs> Man, that pissed the hell out of me. Like, why would you do that? I, I get it, you want to speed and finish for yourself. But why would you troll us like that? In a co-op game. Now, you know, it's not like we're playing fucking Ariverse. You want to trick me. I get it, we're all playing against each other. No, we're playing together. <laughs> in a game that's all about co-op. And you're like, 
Bye. Screw you. Yeah, I do need a battery, man. Come back. Yeah, there's a, gonna be a hunter outside. Let's deal with that, and then I'll come back for the battery. I'm pretty sure there's a hunter out there, if not a doggy. But I did, I did decapitate the doggy accidentally. What, nobody? I could have sworn there's one here. Again. This is the remake. Now go back for the crank and the battery. Was there a... Where's the courtyard? There's no... Yeah, the only item box is in the shack. In the love shack. It's a little... Old play. Oh my god, that's disgusting in the context of this game. I apologize. Please forgive me. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's kind of Delmar, man. There's kind of there. There is kind of a nemesis in this game, because Lisa was infected with. Well, she was she was she was the one they tested all this shit on. So she had the anti alpha parasite. That's why she has tentacles when she goes angry, when she does ah, and then you see the tentacle sprout. It's the same thing the nemesis has. It's actually because of Lisa they were confident enough to put that shit into her. What was I going for? Yeah, the key items. The key items. Of the battery and the crank. Square crank and then, yeah, the hex crank. That's right. A charge! Oh god, that's good. Nescafe. This effort. Look at this. Like, this rug is misaligned. This one is little, like this one's also misaligned and and like crumbled. What's the word? Somewhere, and even here, look, it's such nice attention to detail. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta get me. I gotta get me those. Uh... What is it? I sent you the link from the weapons wiki. It was like something, something, something air pistol. It really exists. I gotta get two of those. Dual wield them when I charge. <laughs> Trust me, I have a pill shooter. That's what they called it in the game, right? Pill, pill shooter. Alright, so... Battery and... Yeah. I wonder if those dogs down... Oh, shit. Should I have taken a blue herb? How easy is is it for that snake to bite me? Very possibly I should have, but uh, dormitory is right next door, so if I do get poisoned, I'll just run there and I don't have to face the snakes ever again. Yeah, definitely, man, definitely. No George is worth his salt without a pill shooter. Snakes, oh my god, not the snake! That, that one always gets me. Okay, I'm fine. For some reason, I'm more resistant to poison than Chris, but still, cheaty bastards. Now, if I'm... If I do get in trouble, I should be okay if I just stick to that corner in the elevator and just shoot. How many? Three, and then reload, okay. What about the bazooka in a Cerberus, huh? Well, it seems to move, be, keep moving and ignoring me. There's two of them, I guess. Come on. Let's try to provoke them. Come on. Fuck it. Whoa, wow, gee, 
shotgun in the face. Not even phased. Ow! That was my... That was my... Cock and arm. Jeez. Sometimes... Like, the RNG is wild in this game. <laughs> Sometimes a pistol kills a hunter. Sometimes a shotgun doesn't even phase a Cerberus. Some kind of transparent creature is swimming around in the water. So... Is it an eel, Jill? The battery has been taken out. Good thing. I happen to have a spare. It's not necessary. You just said the battery is because she moved between that. Yeah. Yeah. They don't... Like, in the first one, it's so easy to stun them. They do a lot of damage, but like by the time they get to you, you're done with them. And they t take a long time to even wind up. Let's take a look at the thing before we close it. Look at this garden. It's amazing, isn't it? A raging waterfall. Wah! It looks like there's something beyond it. Like, I'm afraid of water. I have to turn it off. It's not like it's mer mercury falling from the up there, Jill. <laughs> but in this one, yeah very hard to stun and when they take a hold of your arm you're just locked in there you can't even because they bite your zapping arm you can't even use the defensive item which is cool it makes them you know more of a threat which is what a zombie dog should be well hello there thank you for that sexy raid sexy wesky welcome raiders welcome in welcome to resident evil just the Resident Evil, no subtitles, on the GameCube. How's everyone doing? Hello, Wesky. Hello, my friend. What are you up to? A square. Hello, Simon. Hello. Good day, everyone. Good evening. I mean, good... Good late night to you guys. <laughs> the sound of the waterfall seems to have stopped i mean you just closed it it's like we're not playing the same game jill look at that reflection in the water jesus my god gamecube why are you so good still after all these years it looks adorable it looks amazing what was wesky there doing forest wow it really took over forest really took over for you did it I'm glad, man. I'm glad. What, Forest or RE? It's going great. Amazing. Thank you. How was your stream going? That's where I was going with that. That's it, right? Just go down. Get down. Stupid elevator. I, I take it you really, really like the forest, huh? peaceful <laughs> you say that every time i look at your stream you're burning something killing something with the hot poker like the most brutal way ah it was so peaceful <laughs> what do you like about it though i that's what i wanted to ask you last time but i didn't want to draw it out so what 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 did attract you to to the forest there should be an item box in this version right Yes, they were very kind to put an item box here. But I can't remember if I need the same... I don't think I need the square crank. There's a hexagonal hole here. Yeah, that part's the same. Is there something in this room? Yeah, there is. Probably an ink ribbon. There it is. Jill, you need glasses. No, don't need that. Yeah, I'm gonna use it on on the black tiger. Cut its and mine worries in half. I really don't need any of this health. I'm gonna bring what I have. Uh, ammo. Yeah, I'm good with what I have here. I will need a key item though. I remember that much. Yeah. Black Tiger it can be troublesome. Like on paper, it should be easy. But these spiders, especially Black Tiger in this version, they have 
in the original with Chris, I had so much trouble with the Black Tiger. I was like, this is not the first time I'm playing this. Why is it so hard? I think that's it. Nothing else for now. We got everything. Charge! Not even the crank. I don't think I'll need the square crank again. If I do, oh, whoops. I'll just have to come back for it. Crank. There you go. Another crank, another object. That's right. That's right. A charge. Is it green now? Oh, wait. There's more? There's an item at the end of the hole, I think, yeah. Yeah, somewhere over there, there's an item. I would point, but this is not Outbreak. <laughs> Every time I do that, I just do a quick turn. Very nice detail with the pipe in the... In the, in the rock. When's the next time you're gonna stab these zombies with a knife, Wesky? Anyone around? Oh, is it Lisa time? Oh boy, oh gee, oh. You know what? I did save a long time ago, so. A large boulder blocks the way. There are blood stains underneath the boulder. Is it just telling me that, that there will be a trap? Something like that. Who, who resets the fucking boulder after every, all, everything is done? Who goes around and goes like, you know what? I think we killed an intruder here. Let's reset the boulder. Go boys, let's just push it uphill. No, we, wait. We lost five men doing this last time. Let's be smart about it. Ah, uh, this part finally makes sense in this version. The elevator's power source. I actually don't. I haven't seen even seen the elevator. You're talking about it. Where is it? A huge gaping hole. Wonder what it was dug for. Well, there you go. It, it's an elevator. It's an elevator and a refrigerator and an automobile to ride around in. Oh, nice. We can shoot more zombies. Want to talk about this hole? Nope. All right. But we do know it's for an elevator. Open the round lid. Take the shaft. You take the shaft. Don't you be... On offloading the shaft onto me. Shaft. It appears to be some sort of key to start the power supply. Symbols are carved in its side. Whoa, what could these symbols possibly mean? They don't look like any letters I've ever seen. Oh my. <laughs> I get it. They do that to not like give the puzzle away. But sometimes it's ridiculous. Like I can see those are... Uh, Roman numbers. There's no, there's no point in hiding it. Hello, Terra. Hello. Like, is it Terra or Celis? Every time I go with by Terra because I remember your previous name, but <laughs> it's like it's both of them in one. In the best Final Fantasy game, probably. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I'm just joking. I'm just. Making stupid conversation. Let's dump this shit before moving on. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna... You know, off offload my inventory. We'll need a pistol just a bit in the lab. Probably to decapitate... A few of... The handsome fellows. And that's it. How have you been doing? Oh, that boulder every time it makes me nervous but it's not gonna it's not gonna fall because it's not gonna close your only way out i think it's just there to you know give the old players the heebie-jeebies but also you know the new players scare the shit out of them let's put it under the the false eagle plates i mean uh, metals the ones from north and south. Fighting a small infection. Oh man. Never 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 a day's rest for you, huh? Jeez. I hope it's feverless. That would be nice. Is it green? Oh yeah, it is green, green, green. <clears throat> I mean, green, green, green. All right. 
Do we find a map to this? Nah, it's probably behind the boulder thingy. 100 Fahrenheit, what's that? That's like around 37, I think, Celsius. Oh boy, is it? No, it's not what I think it is. Okay, still safe. What the hell? Ah. Oh. Is that you, Jim? Enrico! Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. Enrico's voice. You're alive. Stop. Are you with anybody, Jill? No. No, I'm single. But why? <sighs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. <laughs> well, that was way more realistic than in the original. Enrico! But it's not funny without Chris's comments. Traitor? Who? Okay, guys, you're turning this into serious. Please, I haven't laughed in a while. You gotta do something funny. <clears throat> Whoever did this is definitely a professional. How? What, what gave it away? Like, the way they shot? Wait, he's holding something. Oh, he's holding it this time. Yeah. Enrico is dead. What could have, what could he have known? <clears throat> well, a whole game before you, Jill. A whole darn game. Why did he come here to die, though? <clears throat> What's the point of this dead end corridor? <laughs> Suck it, bitch. That was that was pretty badass. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it was like in <clears throat> in a split second I was like fight or run, fucking run. Not worth it. And it paid off for now. <clears throat> so I have one crank. Sorry, I do got a cough. My bad. I mean, I apologize, but I will have to. The end is shape hexagonal. All right. Should be none here, right? Yeah. Nice. Totally dodged him. Hold on. Speaking of Spanish named guys, new Lewis in remake trailer looks terrible. Oh man, he was my favorite thing about RE4. You know I'm not a fan of RE4, but Lewis, Lewis made it worth it. Ooh, twofer. Oh man, I love that. Oh wow, that was pretty good. Wow, big luck with hunters today. Better not jinx it. Uh, we're gonna have some good clips of, from this episode. What was that? Around 150. Around 150. Hello? Uh, I, I feel like one of them is just gonna take my head off. I know uh, automatic difficulty, like self-adjusting difficulty started in RE4. I don't think it's in this game, because that would make it a lot scarier after th these moments. In RE4 I would do that, I would exploit that, RE4 and onwards, when it gets really unbearable, because if the more, the better you're playing, the more those games really wanna, you know, slap you. So. I would just on, on on purpose get hurt once or twice and then suddenly they're like oh here's ammo senor more ammo for you all right gotta how many do i have i might just use that to heal myself can't remember what put me oh yeah it was the dog the dog put me in caution how are we doing do we have yeah i have three of them good if i find a red it'll be good they're not sure where the black tiger is at all. I totally forgot the uh, change layout. But I do know we have to see Miss Lisa. Oh, Louis is good. I like him too. But in trailer, he looks too twitchy and crazy. Not sarcastic and fun guy like the original game. Yeah, that's what I liked about him. Oh, is this? It's not. Oh, man. Oh, man. I know what this is. Oh, gee. Will I make it? Yeah, I'm... why wouldn't I make it? I wonder what's just gonna happen. A huge boulder blocks the way. Oh, I guess I'll just go home. There's no way past this. 
No matter how much I have fun with it, it's <laughs> it does raise the adrenaline every time. I do miss the ticks though. Harold, yeah. So it is is it time for the black tiger? I think it is. Let's let's go. Wait, where's the map? Not here. <laughs> well that's that's how you react when a boulder's rushing towards you. Shit, not going that way. Is it is it? I'm pretty sure that's where the black tiger is. Save. If you're not sure, save. Only <laughs> only don't save if you're absolutely sure what's coming next. Even then, don't be like me. Because as you can see, you can kill a hunter with two bullets, but then the next one just just rips you in half. Doesn't even say good hello. He just like does it. I don't need I don't think I'll need the other one. What I will need. The last acid shell, those three incendiary shells, that 22 caliber, hexagonal crank, and mixed herbs. Yeah, so whatever comes my way, I'm ready. I'm even gonna leave the shells here, because I need at least one more. Mixed herbs. Did one, one? Green and blue, okay. Bring that and bring all the cockiness you can muster. Let's deal with him with flame rounds. Equip the 22. That's a very sweet pistol to kill you. What, the, the GameCube version? Or do you mean remake generally? Bug glitch? I don't know. I, I have no idea what that is. Yeah. I do like it for, you know, technical reasons, because it's me. <laughs> it looks better. It runs better. No matter what you're computer is well it looks better the resolution is lower of course but there are changes in the lighting in the in the what is it called the remaster and i don't like how the doors open they they look all twitchy so this is my of choice but i don't know what bu bug glitch yep there's a cutscene yeah i forgot that Damn, it's a big spider. Jeez, they didn't mess around with... Whoop. There you go, that's a lot of damage for you. Oh, it's dead. And I'm not poisoned. Whoa, shit. You're right back. Well, that was easy. Bug glitch. Is it like bug as in an error or as in an instinct? That somehow didn't poison me. It's just like, thank you, game. You just need two of different... And doing something makes... Get max... Oh, okay. I, I didn't know about that. We'll try that sometime. When I'm going for a crazy run, I will definitely try it. Is there going to be more of those? Oh, there's just going to be more of those assholes. You guys just save space there. There you go. I will keep that, bring that, 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 because they might poison, or very possibly. Yeah. I still got three greens. Good, good, good. All right, if someone gets out of hand, I got a grenade shell with their name on it. And a hexagonal crank that doesn't have their name on it. Huh. That is pretty cool. 
Alright, uh, in case there's some... Oh, be smart. There's nothing wrong with being smart. I think we'll be definitely okay with ammo and everything, but... Just in case they get out of hand. And there's probably another knife there. If not, I'll just bring my old knife. Man, it really looks good even even through Elgato. I'm satisfied. Rarely you'll hear me that, but I'm satisfied with the looks of this game. Now let's see if the web spinners still crawl down. Did I like do it if you're too slow? Yep. Now why do we do that in this version and not in the original? Because we want the map to be green. Is this a different survival knife? It's a different one. Finally they're making different ones. Survival knife comes in handy and comes in handy in desperate situations. You can say that again. Or if you're Wesky and you just like Ooh. Eee. Ooh. Oh. Is that good? Yeah. Is there a safe room after this? I doubt it, but let's go. There should be one, if it's anything like the old game. Oh no, not this time, okay. Is that a moth? God damn it, can't carry. Yep, my bad. I expected too much, but I can carry the map. Finally, you get the map, what, two rooms before the end? Nah, there's a hole. Oh yeah, you don't... There isn't yet, that's right. So is one of these rooms gonna be the safe room? Nah, none of them. I gotta go back. Because there's an extra... There's an extra chest. They removed that safe room. It's kind of backwards. She goes diagonal. So well, it was on the Saturn that the hunters come back, right? Yeah, that was on the Saturn. Oh, it's not, it's the same knife. Really, that's disappointing. I guess actually instead of that yeah there you go we're gonna find another blue for me and you what am i carrying a shotgun okay assault shotgun no less so an re zero you will see this soon enough but i actually prefer the hunting rifle to the shotgun they there was always a debate whether the rifle has you know more damage than the shotgun because shotgun carries what seven shells the rifle only two because it's like a two pull but i think um, it doesn't matter even if it's the same damage it the spread is much tighter and it comes in handy really good for some enemies including the church bat i've always had better results with that than um, than with the shotgun you know, the, the regular old shotgun. I'll have to come back again, will I? Maybe, maybe something poisons me and I have to use the... Oh, wait! The thing on the wall, that's not for jail, is it? We don't ever get to do that. Maybe once? Yep, she doesn't care about that. Is this another boulder area? 
That's not a boulder. And hex, nice. <clears throat> oh, it is a boulder area. Gee, better be careful. It would be so nice to trick that boulder falling into the hole, right? It's gonna start falling right away. Yeah! Oh boy! Oh gee! Oh, uh. God! Not even the quick turn game, just leave me to die. That's never, that's never easy. <laughs> Every time that gives me a scare. More than any monsters. You can only make one mistake. Please don't be a first aid spray. God damn it, you had to be a first aid spray. Alright, I guess we'll be back. No oh, wait, I sh should still be able to do this. There you go. I think only one slot is needed. <clears throat> when it tells me now, you need a square crank for this. And that's where I got that memory in the original. <laughs> Please be a hex crank. Yes! Okay, okay. We can work with that. Nice. I gotta find first. There you go. Gotta push it here. It's a much better version of that puzzle <clears throat> than in the original. Nope, maybe a little too far. Nah. No, no. <laughs> That always made me laugh. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the correct angle. No, it's perfect. I gotta stop doubting myself. Oh, one more time. Yep. Yep. Nice. Whoa, okay. That's one. Thank you. Thank you for that sweet ride. One more time, yeah. It's always turning in the same direction, right? Nice, okay. Just get off of that. I didn't even read what was there. I was like, yeah, let's do the puzzle right away. And did I fuck up? Nope. Somehow I did not. What does it say? Nothing. Okay. So I did what naturally anyone would do. The cylinder. Yes. For our friend, the shaft. <clears throat> Door? Where the fuck is the door? Where did they come from? What? Oh, there it is. It's in the blind spot. There you go. Hope there's no hunters here when I'm playing one-handed. Now we can assemble the, the, the shaft and go deeper.
that's the door I always expect a tick or a hunter there it just got ingrained in my being hello love all right thank you so much love Hmm, bring that, leave that, and that, and those. Damn, I don't need this many blues. That's enough blues for now. Cylinder, I will need that. I won't need that, as far as I remember, anymore, ever, again. It's just too good to discard. Will I? No, I don't think so. A circular metal object with a hole in the center. Symbols are carved in its side. All right. Cylinder shaft. Symbols are carved in the side. Will you turn it? Yes, I will. Oh, how will I ever figure this out? Like, I, I couldn't have seen it without this. <laughs> oh, no. So it's... Four, two, three, one. All right. Four, two, three, one. So we got to take that to the elevator room, right? Yeah. All the way east. Do I need to carry something? Now, nah, shotgun and the bazooka. My best friends. Man, that's like the one of the best. I love when the when the explosive grenades act like explosive grenades, and that was really good with those two hunters. No hunters here, no. Would be a little shitty if they came over here. Four, two, three, one. Was it? Yeah, I think it was four, two, three, one. Serious of flashing buttons. Press one. Yes. Press which? Four, two. Three, one. Looks like the power has been restored. Wow, what, wow, what a pin code <laughs> for the fucking <laughs> deep mining elevator. <laughs> okay, it's time to make this interesting. There's an elevator switch. Press it. This part always, like, I always mix this up with RE0 part when you have the elevator and the gondola. Come, kitty. Jill! Barry? Thank God you're safe. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here, but I didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. Here we are. Now definitely don't split up. What the hell is that sound? Could be a person. Jill, go check it out. We had enough surprises for one day. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. Why are you bossing around? Why wouldn't you go check it out, big man? makes no sense like there was always i mean when it's chris i get it but what the fuck so there's nothing here it's green yeah very green <laughs> a very green room okay you know barry i'll check it at my own pace whenever i feel ready to i'll stay and secure our escape route how does that work like what are you gonna be there like the bellboy <laughs> So there's nothing here. It's green. So I think... Ah! Hello there, my old friend item box. Anything I need? I'll find it here. Alright, let's take a very short break. I do gotta hit the bathroom right away. So don't go anywhere. I'll be back in less than five minutes with more Resident Evil on the GameCube. 
Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil on the GameCube. After the piss break, we're zooming. This all all this water wouldn't help, definitely. <laughs> Here we go. I have markers to know where to sit, where the green screen screen is focused the best. <laughs> Alright, that's the room. If I remember correctly, I want to go counterclockwise. We'll see. Yep, nope. You, I want to go clockwise after all. I'll need that later. Oh, hi, Lisa. Okay. It's very nice of you to put them next to each other. Well, how about mix them? Yeah, I want to go there first. That's right. Bye, Lisa. Lisa's scary. Lisa's always scary. Little nemesis, baby nemesis. Okay, should be. Yeah, that's the room I was hoping to see. Where's the map, though? I could have sworn there's a there was a map in one of these rooms. First, first things first. Poor Lisa. She gets more sympathy than Steve, definitely. Way more sympathy. What if I just went back like, Barry, there's a fucking monster I can't kill there. Doing the squats, Jill. Right, we're done with that. So you don't get the second, the B2 map? I doubt that. It's a Resident Evil game. I must have missed something. Ah, here we go. How do I want to do it? I just got to remember. Like that. Yeah, you wouldn't believe what they did to her. Let's just say she's been here for some 30 years. In an eternal... She's. I feel for her almost as much as for Shala. Not, not as much, but, you know, it's in that direction. She didn't need to suffer. She was innocent in all of this, yet. You know, Shala was... You could say that Shala was... Had more blame than Lisa. Not really, but, you know... Because of her hand inside the, you know, in the whole matter, <laughs> we're not we're not discussing the chrono plot. A device for transporting materials started up. Yeah. In a way, yeah, you know, because we'll touch on that when we get to Sun Hill uh, Shutter Memories. There's one of the one of my favorite exercises is when you have to decide who's guilty for this girl's death, like. She was in love with this prince, but her father wanted to marry her. The king wanted to marry her to another guy. And so she escaped in the dead of the night. And is that it? Yeah, that's got to be it. And got trampled over by a bull. So you put all the players on the board and it asks you who's, who's most, who's got the biggest blame for her death. It's very interesting because any way you answer a game will have... Um, you know, a rebuttal for you. Okay, where is she? She's got to figure... I think she's going to come from this from this side. There she is. All right. Look at her. I, I'm not going to let her come close because that's very dangerous. There are way more clues in this version than in the original. Where is it? Here? Wow, I, I like how I'm building a collection of these red and green herbs. 
I thought this would be a lot harder the way it started, but remember I did say the, the like the first hour is can be terribly hard if you're not careful, but once you get the shotgun and out and you know go towards the dormitory or the guardhouse, it gets incredibly easier. Why is it still green? I guess you gotta do a thing. I gotta do a thing and it'll be a dingling. Just straight, just push it. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, can't fuck this up, I think. Let's not over push. A garbage compactor. There's a switch. Press it. Yeah, it was always scary stepping into that thing. I couldn't have opened the box like a human person. I mean, I got, I got a knife, two knives. If one breaks, I got, I got so much shit. I got so explosive rounds, everything. Nah, I had to use the garbage compactor. Broken flamethrower, but it's a pretty good, you know, it's a pretty good switch they did there. That you do the, that you need the broken flamethrower now for its weight. The muzzle is broken, it can't be fired. Literally or figured. Like how did that happen? It it compressed it. It compressed it, but it broke the muzzle like this. Just like with the broken shotgun. You know, any like if it were if it were flattened, like these canisters, they're flattened, that makes sense. But how did this happen? Like it should be it should be, you know, <laughs> paper thin. Instead it's like against all physics. Let, just let it slide. Mm, I don't need anything, or I just need this to pass through. Since Barry left me, I'm sure he had a good reason. Barry would never betray me. Wait, you really don't get the B2F map? Nah, it's gotta be in one of the... Net. There's no room in this game. No area that has no map. Right? Come at me, Lise. There she is. Just keep baiting her. Is it here? Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah, it's up the stairs and then to the right. She's pretty fast for someone that's walking so slowly. Was it here? Yeah, it's here. That's enough. I got a few seconds to do this. Quickly. There you go. All right. What's behind this door? Ah, yes. I love this whole part that's been added. The fire has died out, but it shows shows signs of you. So remember the fire in that cabin where I went, where we first met Lisa? The desk is cluttered with old, beat-up dolls and used candles. A huge collection of various kinds of dolls. They're all faded and worn. Remember in Code Veronica where I saw those dolls, Lupka, and I was like... Oh man, this reminds me of Ari Noan remake. Well, that's what I'm. This is what I meant by it. Very interesting angles, but I don't see any items. Are they all? I, I remember there are some things that are probably in the water. What about here? Yeah. It does need more zombies. Well, you know what? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not at some points when you want to explore. I'm perfectly fine with this. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I forgot about the snakes. Oh, God, the snakes. I don't have anti-poison. I didn't count on the snakes. Jeez. Stop doing that. Wow. 
Did I get bitten? Nope. For some reason, they were very kind snakes. <clears throat> so many jewelry boxes. Where? Did it say something? Nope, never mind. There's the stone object that I need to complete my stone and metal object. A family picture and some notes. My dearest Lisa. There's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenitor virus administered. Jessica. Administered virus type A. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion? Negative. Action? Disposed. So that's Jessica Trevor, if you haven't caught that, Lyubka. So the guy who built the mansion for Sir Spencer and for Sir Alexander from Code Veronica, this was the last mansion he built. So they did call... He did mention it in the diary, but you'll see. <laughs> Lisa, administered virus type B, plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion, positive but delayed fusion. Body modification, observed constant results. Status, continue protective observation. George, action terminated, November 30th, 1967. There's a journal left by someone. <clears throat> oh, okay, here we go. Now we go into the horror. <clears throat> I gotta whip out my girl voice. <laughs> my little, my little girl voice. November 14, 1967. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? <clears throat> November 15, 1967. I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake. Not my real mom. Same face, but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to give face back to mother. Oh god, this is just this is gonna be super creepy now. <laughs> I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so she doesn't go away. Because mom said when I meet her without her face. Oh. November 17, 1907. From inside box scent of mommy. Maybe true mother there. Stone box hard. It hurt. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. Yep. Yep. So that's that was... Remember in the first George Trevor diary, he said... He heard the researcher say, your family's probably... And then three dots. And then the lighter that I'm carrying, that I found in the mansion, belonged to George and it had Love, love Jessica on it. Really nice details. So that's the side plot they removed in the original because there was no time or like technical, you know, there was no space maybe to put it on because the first game was really ambitious for its time. So this is how the creator, Shinji Mikami, this is what he wanted it to look like. This looks like a family photo. The mother and daughter seem to be pretty close. Yeah, it gets darker. We're going to see mom. Is that it? Well, there's more here. Maybe upstairs? Like, if I go up? I might need to go through the snakes after all of this. Ah, there we go. I think that's what I'm missing. Very good. A couple of weathered old barrels containing what looks like water. Looks like water, but doesn't have to be water. I didn't check the bed, so I'm gonna do that real quick. I think I didn't. The bed is still warm. Yeah, so someone slept here. A bunch of photographs featuring a young girl, depicting various scenes from her upbringing. It gives you an insight, before even meeting Sir Spencer, it gives you an insight what kind of man he was. Like, he was very ruthless and he just pursued his, you know, research. But we won't get to, like, more about that until RE5, I think. 
So check this out. Look where we're gonna end up, Yupka. Remember when I said, remember this? It's important. Where we first saw her, it was just a board here. So like the first time you come, I think, yeah, we found the crank here. And, you know, she didn't, she just didn't think of moving the board. Imagine if she did that earlier. How sooner we'd finish the game. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Snake. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah. I'm doing it in hippie style on the GameCube. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, I'm very happy playing this game. How are you doing? What is this like for you? Are you getting ready for work? Or about this time? LJ. <laughs> uh, I love your new nickname, Lubitsy. <laughs> Lubka. <laughs> Who was it, Morshi? I think Morshi started LJ. <laughs> stone ring. It's an octagonal ring made from stone. Okay. What if I mix it with this inconspicuous... Uh, metal object. Oh my, you get a stone and metal object. No, don't combine, examine. An emblem is carved on the octagonal object. Yes, it is. So I think, I think we're ready. If I do this right, you know, I, <sighs> again, my wish to not save is beating my wish to get the proper ending. So, wait, no, the other way around. Huh. No one's entering this time, I guess. So, did I get everything I need? I just... Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. It's time to finish this. Well, just the first part of it. We'll finish the rest later. What a labyrinth, huh? Oh, new game. Because I'm doing the... Like, like last time with Silent Hill. Um... Oh, is that zombie still around? Because I didn't kill him the first time. Yep, still there. I'm doing the canonical marathon, so... Where are you, sir? You know what? I'm not afraid of you. I got a shotgun this time. There he is. Or maybe just be smart. So, I'm trying to get... Well, I'm trying. I've got to finish with all the canonical endings, which, you know... And this one is... You know what it is? Of course. Where the fuck is he? Oh, there he is. The guy I tried to... I know I managed to go get behind his back multiple times. Wow, doesn't care about the shotgun, huh? A very strong zombie. I could have snuck behind him, but what's the point? I got more than enough shells. So yeah, sorry Snake, I'm doing that. I'm doing the canonical mar marathon for now. But for some reason, I, I had to... Um, I realized that I haven't played the <laughs> Chris scenario ever. So I'm doing both. Because we don't, like, it's kind of mixed. What was the canonical scenario of RE1? It's both of them, but mostly Jill. Ah! Jeez, okay, that was good. Good reflexes. Good show. And... That's why I'm doing, doing both of those, but never, uh, never, like for canonical marathon, I'm not doing, of course, Leon A, Claire B, or anything like that, that we know for sure is not canonical. I'm glad you do. I, I, I adore it. I mean, if it weren't, if I didn't discover Outbreak and then discovered how to properly play Code Veronica, this would, it's still my favorite single player Resident Evil game. Outbreak beats it just because it's so good. Alrighty, sis. Alrighty, good luck. I don't know what's going on, but good luck with that. She's not feeling good, huh? Oh, what guy, Snake? You mean the... The first one or the second one? I mean, I got a shit ton of ammo. I was very conservative. Uh, during the whole run, so I'm gonna relax now near the end. I had some really luck, lucky criticals there. I killed... I killed the Cerberus here, I came back and just killed it with one pistol bullet. <laughs> I didn't plan to get back, but I had to. And then after that, I had luck, like I killed a spider with five bullets, I killed a hunter with two bullets, it's just insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
If I had less ammo, I would do the same, but like, better not fuck it up. I have a good collection of herbs I would like to keep. <laughs> hunter? No hunter, okay. Well, I know what I have to do. It's ex exactly for one more episode, which means next time I can do it in less. How willing am I to risk this? A lot. I'm, I'm very willing to risk it. I saw that. I saw that. I, <laughs> the only thing worse, my friend Miha playing fucking invisible enemies. <laughs> I, I have a line that I draw at some point. I'm like, nope, this is good enough for me. This is how I enjoy playing this. But I would try, you know, I would up the difficulty. I doubt I would go for invisible enemies, but I would definitely up the difficulty. Oh, that's painful. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I, I felt that. That, that. that hurt me in my heart. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Oh, the nitroglycerin did trick a lot of us. God, that's... <laughs> I hope that at least gave you a good clip, because it would be a hell of a clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think I think I would shed a tear. Honestly, friend to friend, I would shed a tear. If that happened, <laughs> I would be like, oh god. <laughs> After everything. Like not not a save near the end. I'm very slow playing these games, as you know. Because I like doing these story runs and just taking my time playing like I would. So yeah, yeah, that, that's exactly the, the, the proper reaction. <laughs> I don't blame you. Ugh. I Like, I knew that was gonna happen and still, like, every time... <gasps> Wonder what's on the other side of this door. Definitely not the, the two emblems fit neatly into the door. Open it? Yes. Well, I didn't even try the door, I guess. So that would happen, I think, at the beginning of the game if I tried it. Anything here? It's an old typewriter. Typewriters are for sissies. No, they're not. They're for smart people who don't want to... <laughs> who don't want to go fight the fucking Plant 42 without saving and then realize there's no auto-aim and then shoot five flame grenades into nothing. You know, that's for that those kind of people. That's it, right? That's all I need for now. Hexagon... You know, one thing I did, one of the very, very few things I liked more about the original than the remake is... No, Red Residence, we need... The mansion. The library. The library part in the original was creepier and, you know, cooler for me than, than in the remake. My god, that lighting and those shadows. Oh! Never stops being good. So there's nothing. Yeah, I've done whatever I can. How 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 much can I fuck this up? Because if I if I fuck it up, I gotta go all the way from the black tiger again. Thank you for the resub. You got a headbang. Thank you for that resub, my friend. Highly appreciated. It. It's good seeing you, man. It's been a few months, really. I was happy to see you the other day. Hear you, if nothing else. You know, I'm not a fan of the... Of the... <laughs> ferret? Oh, because, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, that's a ferret. I thought that's a wig. <laughs> Yeah, here we are. Too bad Lupka's gonna miss this, but she's gonna see the recording. I wonder what's... What's on the other side? Because I want to run fast. I'm gonna be smart this time. Was there something here? I don't think there was. It's been a while. Damn, she runs fast without weapons. Why did I never try that before? Okay, let's focus. If I fuck this up, I fuck the ending up and I gotta go back to the previous save. Jill, you're alive. I was worried because I thought you were. 
This part is much cooler. Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. You blow his head off. Don't lie to me. You know, I normally do this perfectly, but <laughs> it's very possible now that I didn't save on stream. <laughs> I just died. Ah! Fuck your heart. Oh. There you go. Any alpha type? How did you trigger that? No time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun. All right, you get this time. Thanks, Jill. All right, Barry, be useful. I don't want to die easy here. I don't want to die at all, if possible. There's a hole here, right? Yeah. Damn! How did I? Yeah, there's a hole. Oh, thank you. Well, that was very helpful of you. Don't let her push you. No, run, run. What the fuck? What? <laughs> shoot, Barry. For the love of fuck, man, shoot. So she can knock him out herself. No, that's bad, 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 Jill. Oh, okay. Let her, let her do it herself. No, 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 no. Wow. Jeez, I guess I'm just a little nervous. Whoa, don't kill Barry. We love Barry. Did I do it? Nice. Oh. 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 We good? We good. So easy to mess up every time. <laughs> Imagine like her pain and suffering. Horrible. He's there. Jeez, I thought I, I thought I lost him. Good. That was a slap worth it. I didn't save all this weed for nothing. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. So you can run away with the elevator again? Can you talk to me? Bro, Barry's got this place covered. Better just hurry on ahead, all right? BSAA. Oh yeah, they did that. That that's in the that's in the remaster. That's right. That's right. That's right. Inside the coffin is a skeleton. Wait, there's something else. A family picture. A family picture and some notes. My dearest Lisa. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's from RE5. That's right, that's all right. What did he want the gun for? <laughs> I guess to shoot her. He's got that, that weapon of his is very powerful, though. I wish I, I, I had as much ammo as he does for it. Yeah, I remember that one. I've seen it in the remaster. It's a letter. To my Lisa. Day by day, I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me... Oh, that's, that's her mother. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of mommy's itching go away. Today, they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they, when they give me the shots, mommy can think... Can, when they give me the shots, mommy can't think straight. But mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy, what your faces look like, how we used to be together. They're all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, I wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that I can hold on to your wonderful memories of you and daddy, to our wonderful memories. Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. That's not how you write to anyone. <laughs> Our chance to escape is the next time when we go to that lab together. We'll both pretend that we are both unconscious, and when that man in white clothes is off guard, that will be our chance. Like, we'll both pretend that we are both unconscious. How about one of us pretends that we're both unconscious, or we both pretend that one of us is unconscious, that that's the only way it can go. <laughs> when we're on the outside, let's look for daddy together. Okay, sweetie? Be strong, Lisa. November 13th, 1967. That's horrible. 
Side of the coffin is a skeleton. That's all, I guess. Ah, fuck, I didn't bring the... Fuck bunnies, I didn't bring the... Is it the item box there, too? Yep, there is. I forgot the medals. Wait, wait, is there more items here? It is green. Okay, there isn't. It's pretty cool she helped me with one of those... Uh, whatever they are, massive stones. I mean, if Chris was Chris were here, he would just punch it away, but... Not everyone can have sexy skills like Chris. Real Survivor is fun because you have to plan every travel. Since the boxes are not connected, you need to figure out what to bring and what to leave at what box. You know, I never played that and I will. That actually sounds very interesting. I played this game insanely, <laughs> insane number of times. But I never did that for some reason. Should I even... You know what? I'll be. I'll be my old self and use the last of my pistol as I descend into madness below there. Not gonna bring any health. Just uh, false medals. Why are they false? Because they're not my medals. Somebody replaced them with other directions. Okay. So... Mm, fuck help. Who needs help? I got charge! <laughs> nah, I'll save at some point. Like, ideally, I would say once or twice the entire game, but, you know, it, things happened in the last time I streamed the uh, Chris OG. What I mentioned earlier, I went into Plan 42 fight, and I was like, ah, this is gonna be easy. I did everything right. No, it wasn't even Chris, it was Jill Run. <laughs> and I can't hit the damn thing because there's no auto-aim. So that taught me, you know what, that was very stressful. I somehow managed to hit it with the last flame grenade and that one was enough to kill it. But man, was it stressful. It was hella stressful. So I took something from that. If I'm not doing a no save run, I'm gonna, not going to torture myself and the viewers <laughs> with repeating uh, sections. Oh, I love this part. It's the welded door, right? There's a large iron door, but it won't budge. And it won't budge. I'm sorry. Any herbs? Oh, no herbs in this section. Okay. Well, that, I think they changed it. Oh my god. You, you Did you mess up? Let's see. No, it is north and east. Is it? North and south? A circular depression. There's a wolf-shaped emblem carved in. So that's why they changed it. So in the original game, the books, the doom books, or last books as they're called here, the doom books where you find the Metals. This is what I've been talking about the entire fucking episode. They were called Eagle of the East and Wolf of the West. You know, E, East, and W, West. But here they changed it to Eagle of the North, Wolf of the South, which is really... Or the other way around. Yeah. So which one is this? Yeah, so Eagle of the South and Wolf of the North. It doesn't... It doesn't, you know, it doesn't... It doesn't sound as good as this. What? Again, what am I reading? Wolf. All right, wolf. There you go. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 I did not know that either. See, my friend Mika told me a lot about these modes, but not that. Or maybe I didn't listen. I love this part. Before we switch discs, which is a thing on the GameCube. It's wonderful. It has no point other than to like gloat to your guests well, look at the mansion I have but man I love it yeah I gotta get ready for this co-op though alrighty then it opened it opened on the on the east side, of course. We're going down into the unknown, Jill. She would break her neck ten times by reaching down. Have you ever walked on stone steps that have constantly dripping water? 
you know when like what is it called the scum i think it catches it makes it su super sleeper slippery so like she would just slide down there <laughs> there would be no walking but just go with it all right i'm gonna go fetch the disc too while well, this place be right back i'm not gone i'm not really gone Here we go. Okay. That's pretty easy on the GameCube. It even spins the disc down and everything. It always saddened me how, how little you get from disc 2 in this game. We're at the end of the game, but there's disc 2. But they couldn't fit it on the GameCube disc. Huge elevator shaft. There's a, also what appears to be some kind of water storage tank. Huh. I wonder where that water came from, Joe. The sign reads, Will not open unless in first class emergency. I mean, I'm being chased by zombies and other mutants. I think there's no bigger class emergency. Oh, she doesn't read the other ones. I see. Okay. I love it. Okay. Yeah, there's... That's also different. So there's two spots when where they added... Both the typewriter and the... Um... And the item box in this section. Yeah, let's end it here. That sounds very sexy. That's a very low-hanging typewriter. Hmm, <laughs> Who's streaming? Who can we raid? I think Mayo's streaming today. Fixed his laptop? Well, kinda. Let's try. Hang in there. I'm hanging in there, Twitch. How are you doing? I'm, I'm really hanging in there. Ah, here we go. what the fuck no results found what i know it exists i, I talk to the person daily <laughs> only twitch man so what now not no results found okay i guess i guess it's not gonna work actually i there's another way of checking jeez wow <laughs> that is something oh, okay because mayo's not streaming i thought i thought he was okay who are we gonna who are we gonna raid? Let's raid. Let's raid the good doctor. I guess it, it's it was meant to be. It was always meant to be the good doctor. <laughs> From a resident, he's playing Dead Aim. Oh my, that's a game I still haven't played. Well, not fully. I tried it. I will play it with mouse and keyboard. Maybe in this marathon. Maybe in another. Maybe just outside marathon. But it will happen. Alrighty, folks. Thanks everyone for watching. So happy to see you, Snake. Thank you for dropping by. Nice. You too, buddy. You too. You have an excellent day. Goodbye, everyone. See you tomorrow in the conclusion of Jill's story. Till next time.